Okay guys, here goes. This is Miss Cole out here on my hammock. Uh, my favorite memory of a class this year definitely has to be first semester macro 3B. We have a little bit more time first semester so we can have a little bit more fun. And we had a little bit of time each day to give read suggestions for her women on the street segment. And I enjoyed some of the videos that we watched and some of the laughs that we had coming up with ideas. Um, I don't have a favorite class period overall. Who made me laugh in the class of 2020? Well, currently it's gotta be Andy Z. He made me laugh all last year and now he's, he's still making me laugh when he shows up to online classes. Um, but from last semester, Lasan's always good for a laugh and it's like so dry and like you really have to pay attention. Um, but everybody, pretty much makes me laugh. I laugh a lot. Even just like sitting at my desk listening to Yuri talk to Holly about a story or about something that um, somebody's clothes or whatever it might be. Um, I just listen to them talk and I, and I laugh just, and they're not even talking to me. So you guys definitely make me laugh a lot. Um, as far as the seniors uh, overall, I definitely had some last year like all of 4A, which was an absolute nightmare. I don't know who decided to put all of those kids in one class. But somehow we made it through and everyone got decent grades and everyone did fine on the AP. So I guess all's well that ends well. But we pretty much, I just, all I could do was laugh because it was so ridiculous. Uh, Vivek and Ray John had to be kicked out. The only time I've kicked anyone out in like probably 10 years. Um, Evan, you just can't help but laugh, even though you really just want to cry and be like, get away from me. Same with Rajan and uh, Vivek. And nobody in there helps, not even Lena. She would act like she wasn't participating when I wasn't looking, when I would look. She, when I was looking, I'm sorry, she would act like she was, wasn't participating, but when I would look away, she was totally all encouraging it. Weren't you, Lena? Yes. Then they had this whole potato hiding thing. You know, I still found one potato at the beginning of this year. It was very disturbing. I know Mrs. Majova probably wouldn't like to hear about that, neither would the custodians, but. Anyways, uh, moving on. Uh, there were even students that I never taught that made me laugh, like Felix and Wynn. Um, I met them both through Mr. McKay, I imagine, and they made me laugh a lot. So definitely a very funny class. Um, the biggest blooper I had was on the first, um, day of online instruction during first period. I thought I had everything exactly like it was supposed to be. Everything was set up just like the first day of regular school where everything's exactly how it's supposed to be. And it didn't work and I accidentally said a curse word. So, oopsies. Um, that's what happens when you have two weeks of spring break, I guess. Uh, what do I miss most about the seniors would just be the seniors themselves. I miss seeing you guys. I miss talking to you guys because you guys are so quiet online overall. Um, I do not miss your poor attendance because you're still poorly attending, so there's nothing to miss. Um, as far as superlatives, I don't really have any superlatives. Um, as far as online senior, the, I know that I was like, the names that pop into my head are Ling and Tiana because they've been the best about attending, so I would give them that award. Um, the class of 2020 is special because I got to know so many of you. Um, in and out of class, you guys are really friendly and generous, and I feel like there's very few of you that I haven't met or that I don't know or that don't know me. Um, I just wanted to wish you guys to be yourselves, work hard, have fun, and I hope that you remember your teachers and your experiences with students and, and activities rather than just how difficult it was. Um, that's what I wish for you, the class of 2020. Bye, love you.